YouTube, Moose 78 back at you with some more American Truck Simulator. This, of course, is my Let's Play series, Stories from the Road. We are on episode number 16. Hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday, by the way. We are getting ready to pick up our Wabash here. And we're going to take a bit of a long run today. Got another contracted run. Attached up here. There we go. We are going from down here in Phoenix up to Winnemucca, Nevada over at Walbert and we got a pretty light load it's only just uh, just under 11,000 pounds there so that should be not a problem take a look at the truck here there we go still of course got the 579 And of course, the uh, Arizona DLC is live now. It is out of open beta. So if you've not checked it out yet, be sure to check that out because it is a really good expansion. Heard a lot of positive feedback. I know I've enjoyed it. I think I've got all but one or two cities discovered. But uh, it's a pretty good expansion overall. Adds a lot more depth to the game, in my opinion. And we talked quite a bit about that in the last episode, so be sure to check that out. The link for the playlist is in the video description. As well as all my other links, my affiliate link for my no scopes, All the downloads for uh, all the mods. So be sure to check that out. A lot of good, useful information down there for you guys. I don't know, sometimes I kind of drift off topic and kind of talk about this, that, and a little bit of everything, but uh, for the foreseeable future, I really want to focus in on just the truck sim stuff since there's so much stuff going on within the truck sim community uh, with the Arizona DLC being live now. I'm sure we'll be hearing uh, here pretty soon as to what the next expansion is going to be. Gonna get that light, but not so much. That's okay. But uh, typically in this series, I talk a little bit about uh, everything uh, from you know obviously what's happening in game with it being a let's play series, and I kind of drift off and talk about some other video games and some other topics and stuff like that. Uh, but for the foreseeable future, I'm just gonna focus on the let's play aspect of it. Uh, been getting a lot of positive feedback from that. So I'm going to kind of stick to that. Um, I know some of you guys have asked me to talk about specific things. I am not going to talk about those things uh, right now in the series. I have responded to your comments uh, in the video description. So kind of kind of check that out. Guess I can go. Oh, 
Come on, dude. Get that thing up the hill. Oh my god, what is he doing? Oh, come on. Come on, dude. Go. It was like nothing coming for days. He's going, looks like he's going to Flagstaff or Camp Verde or not the same way I am, so that's good. But I do need to hop off and follow him just, well, shoot, maybe he is going the same way I am. Nope, good. There we go. Before I forget, a little bit of big news. Finally hit uh, the 400 subscriber mark, so thank you guys very much for that. Thank you for your continued support. I know to some people it's probably not a big deal, but for a small channel like myself, that's kind of a big deal. A nice little milestone. Those small victories do help. So thanks again, guys, for the uh, subs and the support look forward to what lies ahead with the channel and everything. And uh, someone had asked about uh, the contracts and the mods and everything. Uh, I'm, all I'm doing is I'm just, uh, you know, make sure you're signed into World of Trucks in game and they just, I just go to external contracts in order to showing up. So, uh, you know, I wasn't doing anything special to get them to show up. So, but if you're having any more problems with that, uh, yeah, let me know and see if we can't look into that. But that's all I'm doing. I'm just, you know, I'm signed in in game and just go to external contracts and they were just showing up. So I just kind of assumed it'd be automatic. something down there. Good to go. Pretty excited to check the status of the uh, my SKRS shifter. And it looks like it was in pre-assembly this morning, so hopefully we'll be getting that here pretty soon. And like I said in the last video, once I get that in, we, we uh, will do a full review of that. So be on the lookout for that. But I'm excited to get that thing in. Hopefully make everything a little less uh, cumbersome. Did go with the uh, one with the easy jake, so... Pretty excited about that. That'll be a nice little add-on to the sim here.
kind of hoping we would get another truck with the DLC. Does not seem that's the case, unfortunately. And they've not really talked a whole lot about that here lately. About what's going on with all the licensing and, you know, things like that. You know, a couple months back they were uh, over here in the States for the Mid-American Truck Show. And they spent some time at the Packer facility and we talked about that quite a bit. But uh, not really heard much, much about that. If they're going to update any trucks, when we can expect new trucks and things like that. So hopefully over the next uh, couple of weeks now that we have the Arizona DLC, hopefully we'll start to hear a little bit more about uh, some more trucks coming in the game. Get out here on the interstate and head north up to Nevada. And again, I wish they would fix the merge lanes. Maybe in a future update. But those are one things that need some lovin's. A lot of people talk quite a bit about that. Arizona. Sneaking around everyone here. The scenery up here in the northwestern part of Arizona is some of the best in the game, in my opinion. Just the way the mountains look. Hop outside the truck here for a second, just take a look. I mean, that, that just looks so, so good.
really changes things up from the first two maps. And I like how the scenery changes just throughout the state. Really kind of breaks up the monotony a little bit. Like I said uh, before, it just really helps the uh, replayability, in my opinion. Contracts got me maxed out of 70, so I'll just set the crews there and... Keep on a trucking. Now that the uh, Arizona DLC is live, I need to go back and finish a couple trucks, update a couple trucks. I've been messing around with the W900 just over the last couple days, working on some uh, modifications for that. Shortened up the chassis, or shortened up the frame on that quite a bit. Still got a lot of work to do on that. Uh, Trying to update it to more of a newer model of a W900, somewhere around a 2013, 2014. So it's gonna have the dev tank on it and all that good stuff. I think the current model in game is like an early, the SES version is like an early 2000s model. So that's why it doesn't have the dev tank or any of that stuff. Ooh, that's pretty. Sun coming over the mountains, that is pretty. But shorten up the frame quite a bit to where it's a little bit more, I guess, uh, I don't want to say realistic, but a little bit more kind of what you would see stock from a dealer. sure if I'll use that in this series. That might be just more for some uh, gameplay stuff to kind of drive around in. Drove around a little bit the other night, and it was kind of fun. I've not really driven the W900 much at all, and it was kind of fun to drive something with a, you know, actual long hood on it. Man, that is, this is one of the prettiest scenes in the game right here. Sunset going across the Hoover Dam. That's what I'm talking about right there. zone for safety and that you know so everyone can see me at night and stuff coming up on Las Vegas so be prepared for a slowdown try to be a lot more cautious in my driving This van up here is not helping me. Oh, he's got a car in front of him. Alright. You're off the hook, dude. Alright. I think I finally got the clutch dialed into where I want it. I just moved the slider all the way over to the right. And what happened?
All right, not sure what happened there, but uh, driver crash. That was weird. Didn't think the GP was overclocked, which is about the only time I get a NVIDIA driver crash like that. So that's kind of weird. So I'm on the latest NVIDIA drivers, which have been pretty stable so far. Major FPS drop there, drop down to like 30 some frames. I was coming back a little bit. Las Vegas. Hello, Las Vegas. Monday Seafood Buffet. Sounds good. A little shrimp gumbo. through Vegas here okay. No major issues to this point, so that's always a plus, especially when you consider who's driving. like turning on your turn signal about four miles early. Don't even think about it. Thank you. Thank you very much.
destination. Well, we still got quite a ways to go, quite a ways to go. back there. 
Guess not. Take a look at the truck there at night. Alright guys, we are just a little bit over that 30 minute mark, so I am going to go ahead and cut on out of here. Be sure to tune in next Thursday as we continue our trip up to Winnemucca in part 17 of my Let's Play series, Stories from the Road. Be sure to check in every Wednesday for some just plain old gameplay footage. And be back on Tuesday for another edition of Stories from the Road. As always guys, thanks for watching and supporting. It's greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. If you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But until the next one, guys, take care. We'll be seeing you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the link in the description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click my NoScope affiliate link also down in the description. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.